One, two, three. Hi, welcome to an NYU respiratory department neonatal transportation video. We're going to discuss high frequency ventilation transportation with nitric oxide. So we use the phasotron circuit. And so we pull out the circuit and the tubing. And we'll connect this, but we're going to have to replace this head for a nitric adapter. So inside the bag is a nitric adapter with two nitric adapter kind of connectors. So first thing we're going to do is this swivel head takes comes off. And we're going to replace it with this nitric adapter head. And the difference between these two, just to see, this has an extra port so that we could do nitric oxide sampling. So we use the extra port head we connect it to the circuit and as we know from previous videos we connect the driving pressure clear line through the back here and our red pressure gauge right here in the center and this offset will be for the nitric oxide sampling and down here we have For delivery, we're going to take, we have two orange lines, connectors, we're going to deliver underneath, and we're going to sample to the side here. So we have our delivery and our sample. And we're going to connect to our transporter down here. We're going to go red to red and clear to clear. And we're going to have to point our gas flow towards high frequency, but we're not going to go there just yet. Um, first, we're going to connect our nitric oxide sample line. This is Mallinckrodt's nitric oxide sample line, and it goes into the DSIR plus head, the way we're used to doing nitric oxide. So we're just sampling nitric oxide. And we want to clear straight line which is always hard to do so we got our line and now we're gonna right here now we're sampling the gas as close to the patient as possible delivery to deliver the nitric oxide we are going to use the ino blender for delivery we're going to deliver from the ino blender because the phasotron is not compatible with the injector module so because it's not compatible with the injector module, we're not going to be using injector module cable, injector module delivery, the way that we're used to doing it. We're going to deliver all the nitric oxide from the ino blender. To do that, we're going to open up a perineb kit. And in the perineb kit, they have a very nice O2 line that will fit just well for our purpose. Instead of using a regular O2 line, the fit is not as, as good. So this fits really well from the perineb. So we go... From the ino blender, we connect, right, like so, and we deliver underneath with the line into the orange connector, nice and snug right there. So now we're delivering nitric oxide, and we're sampling nitric oxide, and this is our patient right here. We get our test lung, and this rotates this head, and here's our test lung. So now. We're going to activate our, our uh, high frequency and point the gas to the high frequency. And we're running our TXP that we've learned in another video. We're going to set our settings that we want, our frequency that we want, our mean airway pressure that we want, amplitude, frequency, amplitudes for baby wiggle, and this peep valve is going to be for our mean airway pressure. You can refer to the high frequency ventilation video for more instruction on that. But for the nitric oxide connection, this is what we want to talk about. The path of flow for the nitric oxide is going to go from the gas tank, through the regulator, into the regulator hose, and the regulator hose connects back of the DSIR. That's how we do nitric oxide typically, through the regulator, ho regulator hose. There's an ino blender connection hose that goes to the ino blender. So the path of flow is going from the tank, through the regulator, through the hose, back 
through the blender and out this port. And you'll see there's an O2 hose right here. And this O2 hose is connected to the main oxygen system. All connected. So as soon as we open this flow meter right here, we're getting oxygen and we dial in our nitric concentration that we want. So we're not gonna do typically for ino blender use, we would do 10 liters of flow and say 20 parts per million to deliver 20 parts per million. We are not gonna deliver 10 liters of flow through here. We're gonna deliver much less if I got about three to five liters of flow. So at three liters of flow, if we wanna deliver 20 parts per million, we're gonna crank up to 80 and fully max out our concentration, but only deliver at three liters. And we'll see, I'm gonna put this down right now, I'll put that down. I'm gonna open up my nitric, and we're using this head just for sampling. We're not using it for delivery, and we're not doing the whole pre-use test that we're used to doing. All we're gonna do for a pre-use check is we're going to open up our valve and do a high pressure leak test. And so you could see a high pressure leak test that I open up the valve and then I close the valve and I'm gonna purge the circuit just like so. So I do a high pressure leak test, make sure that it's not leaking and then I do a purge. High pressure leak test and then purge. And then when this comes on and it wants to roll through its entire pre-use check, we can't do it because we're not using the injector module. So these things won't apply. So we cancel and it's gonna do a low cal automatically. We will do a low cal. So we're gonna do the low cal and we're gonna do a high pressure leak test and we're gonna do a purge. For our purposes, this takes three minutes to do the low cal. I'm gonna cancel the low cal. But you would let the whole low cal calibration run. All right. So now we're sampling, and you can see on our blender, we're delivering 60% uh, FiO2, so this should go up to something in the 50s, 55 or so. And nitric oxide, I'm gonna open up my liter flow to about three. I'm gonna max out my concentration all the way to the max. When I do three liters and 80 parts per million, we're gonna watch this sample Make sure our tank is open. We're gonna watch this sample, make sure that we're delivering a safe amount of nitric oxide, preferably much less than one part per million. We don't wanna go higher than that. We would troubleshoot, but it comes preset with a three parts per million upper limit. And here's our nitric oxide. At three liters of flow and 80 parts per million maxed out, we're delivering 21, 22, let's see where it sells. I'm gonna give a little bit less flow because if I wanna give 20 parts per million, we adjust the flow. So, when we make changes to the delivery of nitric that we wanna do, we're gonna adjust the flow up or down for what we want. We're not gonna make changes to the concentration. We're gonna keep it maxed out concentration and adjust our flow. More flow, more nitric oxide parts per million. Less flow, less part nitric oxide. We're at 22 right now almost 21 and we're just about three liters of flow. So I could touch it down even a touch more and we'll see that we can get to 20 parts per million nitric oxide, a safe level of nitrogen dioxide and just about 60%. We're always gonna have less of FiO2 when we do nitric oxide, it mixes less. So I'm gonna go a little bit less even more on this NO to get to the 20 that we're looking for. So now we're ready to put this on a patient because we set our frequency, we set our mean airway pressure and our amplitude that we want for the uh, phasotron and the high frequency circuit. And we have the nitric oxide delivering and sampling, sampling as close to the patient as possible. So we know we're delivering the accurate amount of nitric and we're delivering right under here. All right. The only other last thing I want to mention, it's hard to get a perfect number sometimes, 20, 21. We could still manipulate that as needed. When we have to ambu bag in an emergency, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get our ambu bag, we're gonna have to attach our ambu bag to this Ino blender, we're gonna have to bring our flow up to 10 and bring our concentration to 20. 
because we're going to AMBU with 10 liters and 20 parts per million. So that's the only very important thing to keep in mind when AMBU bagging a patient if we're going to take them off the ventilator and we're going to AMBU. You see right here it says set dose is zero, please close cylinder valve. It doesn't understand because we're not using the nitrate, the injector module, so we're just going to exit that, that's okay. And see now I'm giving 19, I could touch up and around this liter flow as much as I want to make sure I'm delivering exactly what I want for my nitric. So again, my FiO2 is being sampled, my nitrogen dioxide, and my nitric oxide is being delivered and sampled for the patient. All right.